chicks too but the uh, goats <clears throat> I separate the cows for about 20 minutes half an hour otherwise Daisy will come out and eat all the goats food before they get a chance get these goats out and they're waiting for me they know Set this camera and see if they will knock it over.
this little girl, she's the triplet. And her two brothers over there. She's small. So we're trying to, trying to put a little weight on them, but so that's why I like up the, the cows. They were real scared, all the goats, so now they kind of let me feed them, hand feed them and, and pet them. So it's definitely taking some time. So now we got the chicks. The water's pretty low and dirty, so I'll replace the water and the food. And then for the meat birds. Those chicks are the same chicks as those, those uh, as these ones. So you see why they're called meat birds. So they drink a lot more water, eat a lot more food. So I put this five gallon bucket up on a little stool for them to not dirty it up and it holds more water. So They drink quite a bit. So we'll top those off and get back to uh, collecting eggs. I didn't collect them yesterday, so we'll probably get a good basket. For has a chance of not making it, uh, it's just not up to par with the rest of them, then I'll dip a beak. Usually I'll have water with uh, some extra vitamins put into it. And when I first get chicks, that's what I give them for the first few days. And really that's the only time you need to dip a beak. I know everybody says dip through every single beak of every chick and it's, when you got a hundred chicks, it's just, it's really not necessary. You could uh, not dip a single beak and place a bowl of water in there and they're gonna find it and figure out that it's water. Because they don't have thumbs. The first thing to do is they use their beak for everything. So they're gonna find a water source and um, just instinct. So, the fact that uh, they have that out there, you gotta dip their beak to where their food and their water is. 
I don't know who came up with that, but it's ridiculous. You don't need to do it. But look at we still have this tortoise. He's, uh, he was just facing out. So he maneuvers around pretty good. He actually dug a huge hole over here and buried it back up to his doorway. But we have him in here because uh, he moves pretty quick. We have someone who's gonna come pick him up, but he can't do it until tomorrow, hopefully. And basically that little area, I'm gonna, when he's gone, I'm gonna clean it out. And that's gonna be where those chicks go, the meat birds. And uh, that'll keep them contained in a bigger area. And then I'll be able to move those, those little those laying hens, uh, the smaller chicks and those three ducklings. Then I'll move them into that, where the meat birds are after I clean that out. They'll have more room. Everybody will have more room. And then it won't be long that uh, they'll just be in there for a few weeks before we butcher them. And the uh, little birds will um, probably in the next couple weeks, probably two, three weeks, we'll uh, set them free. They'll just be free range with the rest of them. And figure out their little pecking order the ducks will stay with them I like raising the chickens with the ducks like this um, because they're gonna get released to uh, a flock that has 20 ducks in it turkey and um, all the rest of my animals uh, they are used to the ducks and <clears throat> so these guys will be right at home nobody will be too aggressive on them and, uh, Should, should work out perfect. Actually, sometimes the chickens will prefer to be with the duck. We got one rooster who wants, who thinks it's a duck. But, um, nobody likes him. <laughs> I've actually tried to catch him numerous times because uh, he's actually a meat bird. But he's not one of these meat birds. He's not a uh, Cornish cross. He's actually a dark Cornish. So these ones are actually bred where you, you have to push them. After a certain period of time, they get too heavy for their own legs and break their legs really easily and they're just not very mobile. So, these are a hybrid, they're crossbred to put on all that, all that weight. And you just look the size difference. Um, so let's see, the bigger ones, there's a week apart. The big one up there, and then there's one week older. That just goes to show you how fast these meat birds grow. Those two birds are the same exact age. And uh, see how fast the other ones grow, put on that weight. They eat a whole lot more, drink a whole lot more. <clears throat> and so, what's that? Jumbo Cornish Cross. Usually you butcher them under 12 weeks, um, which is pretty young, but that's the way it goes. Daisy's still locked up. I still have to uh, bring that bucket 
and put more grain in it for the pigs for tomorrow. I, uh, I put some wheat in the bucket and then I fill it for three days. I leave it in water and that's what they get. Three, three day fermented wheat. You see uh, Bones is gone. He's over there finishing off the Come on, Daisy. Figure it out. Yeah, you could try it. He... She's gonna go see, check his bowl out, make sure he finished it. Hi, Daisy. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. Come on. <laughs> These birds are a little aggressive, so you just gotta let them peck in. So they can get <clears throat> some of them are uh, <clears throat> not so broody. So we'll see how we'll see what she does. Yeah, she's gonna bite. Oh, she didn't bite. One out of it. My wife doesn't like getting eggs because. Uh, Sometimes they bite hard. I mean, you don't draw blood, but they, I mean, she, she left a little mark on my, my hand right there. But I ain't scared. <clears throat> the ducks like to lay in here. No, they're good at, uh, they're good at, good at burying their eggs. They don't like you when you find their eggs. But Sometimes <clears throat> they'll sometimes uh, when they know it's been compromised, they'll go find another location. You see under this little bush right here. They used to lay right there, and um, it might be too early. I actually don't. Actually, really, I don't usually collect eggs this early. I'll wait till about noon, <clears throat> but um, because I'm going into work at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, I just try to knock this out right away. We actually have some that lay out in the middle of the pasture, so I saw one. And I don't like disturbing them when they're laying, but. Here's a spot where the ducks like to lay. <clears throat> See that egg right there? It's the egg I just marked to tell me not to leave, uh, to tell me to leave it there. <clears throat> and the reason for that is it. So far it's been working. It's kind of, uh, the duck comes back and sees an egg there. I feel like it uh, tells them that it's a good, it's a good place because that egg's still there. So that isn't a compromise. So I just leave one in there and mark it because I don't want to, I don't want to eat that egg if it's been in there for, that one's been in there for over a month. 
This is probably dried out. You see this one. They like to lay in these spots that's blends right in. I'm gonna leave her be, but for some reason one laid right on the outside. But uh I'll leave those for tomorrow. <clears throat> but uh the the lay right in that I don't like those uh, cactus type bushes. So you get poked up. Come out of there with a bloody arm. Eventually I'm going to rip that out. And there was one right across the driveway from it too. I ripped that out already. <clears throat> and they'll grow back if they get a little moisture. Anyways guys, it's a short video, but uh... I am working again early, working overtime. Um, if you couldn't tell from that one video that my wife showed up in it, she's pregnant. We're about to have a baby in a couple weeks here. So I'm just trying to work overtime, all the overtime I can until the baby's born. Um, and then uh, I'll leave. They'll let me uh, get stuff done at the house and be around normal schedule we don't always get over time so I try to take advantage of it when we do um, yeah we've got a lot of updates uh, the baby coming and everything we don't have a name picked out so I guess we're down to two names but we'll see what happens Probably go with hers, I'm sure, but uh, it's, all, it's all good. I know what I'm gonna call. Them.